I was nominated for the Outstanding Contribution to Research category. I think for my work over a, at least a decade of, of on African development. So what I've always tried to do is look at the ways in which Africans themselves are driving their own development, even though they are in a part of a complex global world. So for example, my recent work has been on the rise of China and what China's been doing in Africa and, and what the impacts of that are for African development. So recently I've been running a, a project on, on oil investments. So the Chinese have come in, for example, to invest in the oil resources of Africa. And we're saying, well, are the Chinese different from other oil investors? And if so, what does that mean for Africa's development? So we've been trying to chart those kind of impacts at a very local level in Africa. Our most interesting finding in terms of our research on China and Africa wasn't kind of what we thought we'd find. We, we kind of went in with an assumption that the Chinese are very different. Everybody kind of says, oh, well, the Chinese are like this, the Chinese are like that. And actually, when you get down to it, the Chinese act in the same way as many other big oil investors. They're after a certain set of things. And actually, whether those investments and those relationships lead to beneficial development in Africa largely actually comes down to the African government. So if they can then harness and leverage that investment, whether it's for creating jobs, for tax revenue, that really comes down to how good the local government setup is for doing that. And so you have bad institutions that doesn't tend to filter through for development, better institutions, and those kind of benefits do reach the people and, and, and contribute to African development.